Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, myself Sabiha Sultana. Today we are going to start another chapter of class 9 of history that is Vijayanagara Kingdom and Bahmani Kingdom. So the establishment of Vijayanagara Empire is a landmark in the Indian history. The South Indian dynasties like the Yadavas of Devagiri, the Kakatiyas of Varangal, the Pandyas of Madurai, the Hoysalas of Dwarasamudra, all were, having, all were the victims of the violent attack of Alauddin Khilji. Likewise, political instability, lawlessness, fear and religious turmoil prevailed everywhere. Under this uh, situation, the kingdom of Vijayanagara was born. In this part of video, we are going to learn about the Vijayanagara Empire and the famous ruler of this empire. So let's get started. Chapter 4 Vijayanagara and Bahmani Kingdoms Vijayanagara ruled for three centuries. By 15th century, it spread up to Indian Ocean in the south, Bay of Bengal in the east and Arabian Sea in the west. The content of this chapter is, we are going to learn about the establishment of Vijayanagara Empire, the dynasties which ruled Vijayanagara and the famous ruler of Vijayanagara, achievements and contributions of Krishna Devaraya and at the last we are going to learn about the fall of Vijayanagara. So let's start the chapter. Hakka and Bukka established this empire on the banks of Tungabhadra river in the year 1336 CE. Hampi became the capital of this Vijayanagara empire. Vijayanagara kingdom had to face resistance by many kingdoms like Delhi sultans, Gajapati of Orissa and Bahmani kings of the northern Deccan. Vijayanagara empire was ruled by four dynasties that is Sangama, Saluwa, Tuluva and Aravidu. So the famous kings of Sangama dynasties were Harihara I, Bukkaraya, Harihara II and Praudadevaraya. Among them, Harihara laid the foundation of Vijayanagara Empire and developed a capital Admus New Hilox. After Harihara, Bukkaraya came to throne. Bukkaraya defeated the Reddis of Kondavidu and merged Penagonda with Vijayanagara. Bukka was successful in solving the religious war between the Jains and Sri Vaishnavas, thereby upheld religious harmony. This fact is revealed by one of his inscriptions in Shavana Belagola. He constructed a fort and a few temples in the capital city and encouraged agricultural activities. Bukka Raya sent an ambassador to the court of Chinese king belonging to the Ming dynasty. Bukka's son, Kampana defeated the Sultan of Madurai and enlarged his kingdom. This victory is marked in Madura Vijayam which is returned by his wife Ganga Devi. The next important king is Harihara II, the son of Bukkaraya. He ruled for 27 years. The Vijayanagara empire comprised of vast area. He took into his control Kondavidu, Karnal and Nellore forts. At the time of death of Bahmani Sultan Mujahid, Harihara II expanded his kingdom from Goa to the north of the Konkan coast. He occupied the fort of Panagala lying to the north of Krishna river in the year 1398 CE. Then another important ruler of this Sangama dynasty is Devaraya II who is also called as Praudadevaraya. The most famous king in the Sangama dynasties was Devaraya II. He had earned the title of Elephant Hunter, means Gajabetegara. Devaraya II defeated the kings Gajapati Kapilendra of Orissa and seized Kondavidu. By suppressing the regional leaders of the border, he expanded the kingdom up to Krishna River in the northeast. Later, he defeated the Kerala rulers and received royalties from Kerala and Sri Lanka. This earned him the title Dakshina Pathadasha Chakravarti means the emperor of the south. Through these conquests, the Vijayanagara empire extended from Sri Lanka to Gulbarga and Telangana to Malabar. According to Nunis, the kings of Ceylon, Pulikat, Pegu, Tenasriam were, were paying royalties to Prouda Devaraya. Devaraya II chased the traditional foe Ahmad Shah of Bahamani till Bijapur and occupied Mudgal and Bankapur. His commander, Lakkanna Dandesha, took up a successful naval voyage. Devaraya II was tolerant towards other religion, 
he constructed mosques jain and vaishnava temples in the capital being a poet himself he had in his court the sanskrit scholar dindima and the kannada scholar lakkanna dandesha during his period vaishnava tradition and literature saw a revival after the death of devaraya ii in 1446 ce weak kings came to power and the rule of sangama dynasty came to an end now let's know about krishna devaraya the son of narasa nayaka of tuluva dynasty and his second wife nagalambika krishna devaraya was the most famous king among the rulers of vijayanagara empire during his rule the vijayanagara empire reached the pinnacle of glory comparable to world famous rulers like ashoka samudragupta and harshavardhana he ruled over for 20 years when he came to power the kingdom was facing various complicated internal and external problems the re- europeans who had arrived through new sea route were establishing colonies the moguls of the north were trying to expand their empire in the south the five shahi kingdoms of the brahmani dynasty became powerful sultanates and plundered into war against krishna devaraya in addition to this the king of umattur and orissa were constant source of threat now let's know about the achievement military achievements of krishna devaraya as mentioned by robert sewell krishna devaraya was an unparalleled warrior shrewd commander and political expert he won all the wars and expanded his empire in the south by the time krishna devaraya ascended the throne the law and order situation of vijayanagara empire had worsened due to internal rivalries the reign between 1510 to 1521 ce are filled with longer seas wars and victories he undertook 14 major wars these wars were waged against bahmani adil shahis of bijapur nizam shahis of ahmednagar qutub shahis of golconda gajapati of orissa and other chiefians in 1509 ce yusuf adil shahi organized a combined attack of adil shahi dynasties on vijayanagara Adil Shah of Bijapur died in this attack. During this time Krishna Devaraya annexed the Doab region of Raichur. Krishna Devaraya liberated Muhammad Shah and made him the king of Bahmani kingdom. Hence he got the title Yavana Rajya Pratishthapana Charya. These wars destroyed the power of Bahmani. He took under a war on Gangaraya, the chief shins of Umattur. This part was made part of Sri Ranga Patana. Among the wars waged by Krishna Devaraya, the war with Gajapati of Orissa is important. This war took place from 1512 to 1518 CE. He captured Kondavidu, Vijayawada and Kondapalli. These were part of Gajapati Rudra Pratap Devaru's kingdom southern part. Gajapati surrendered and got his daughter married to Krishna Devaraya. In 1520 CE he captured Raichur from Adil Shahi of Bijapur. A tough battle took place between Vijayanagara and Bijapur for Raichur. The Portuguese supported Vijayanagara. Earlier Krishna Devaraya had helped Portuguese to capture Goa. During his reign the Vijayanagara kingdom extended from river Godavari and Krishna in the north to the Indian Ocean in the south. from arabian sea in the west to bay of bengal in the east krishna devaraya was not only a skilled warrior but also an able administrator his telugu work amukta malyada reveals the shrewdness he possessed in the matters of state he provided irrigational facilities for the expansion of agriculture with the friendship of the portuguese he increased foreign trade he abolished tax on marriages He was a great patron of art, literature and religions. There were 8 Telugu poets known as Ashtadikkajas in his court. Krishna Devaraya was a poet himself and wrote the play Jambavati Kalyana in Sanskrit. Alasani Peddanna, Nandi Timmanna, Durjuti, Tenali Rama and others are the Telugu poets in his court. Krishna Devaraya constructed Krishna temple at Hampi along with many of the temples He erected Maharanga Mantapa in Virupaksha temple at Hampi and also many other temples. 
the portuguese traveler domingo pias and barbosa have applauded the dignity and ability of krishna devaraya during whose time people of all religion enjoyed religious freedom now let's know about the fall of vijayanagara empire after krishna devaraya achutya raya and sadashiva raya came to the throne krishna devaraya's son in law rama raya of the aravedu dynasty handled the administration in an able manner although rama raya had improved the prestige of the kingdom by waging many wars during his 23 years reign many foes had sprung up against vijayanagara counteracting to the frequent attack by the deccan shahi sultan rama raya had occupied vijayapura and golconda forts this had provoked the sultans to wage war against rama raya the deccan sultans who were envious of the progress and prosperity of vijayanagara empire forgot their political difference and united in the name of their religion in 1565 ce the united army of the four kingdoms mounted an attack on vijayanagara this battle is famous in the history in the name of battle of rakkasatangadi ramaraya's army was defeated in this battle and he died the victorious army of the deccan sultan plundered the glorious kingdom of vijayanagara as a result the capital hampi became a ruin later the aravidu dynasty ruled from penagonda chandragiri and finally vellore till 1646 ce the chefshans of mysore kelladi and chitradurga in karnataka became independent so this was all about the rule of vijayanagara and the fall of vijayanagara in the next part we are going to learn about the cultural contributions of vijayanagara to know more about the vijayanagara kingdom stay tuned and keep learning thanks for watching